Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, Sega Dreamcast Wine, and the Retroid Pocket 3. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Sega Dreamcast emulation with Flycast. Flycast version 2.0 was just released. So version 2.0 of Flycast brings about the following changes. We've got Naomi 2 support. Every single game for the Naomi 2 is supported with the exception of the satellite terminal. Card reader emulation for Initial D, better Naomi networking, network support for club card, Initial D, and King of Route 66. Maximum speed cabinet linking, auto configuration of the Naomi EE Prom, Naomi widescreen sheets, and if you're on Mac OS, there's now brake pad support. This one is huge for AMD users. Native death interpolation. And this option fixes many rendering issues with AMD GPUs. I would argue that this is a pretty huge update for Flycast, and Flycast is free, it's open source, and it is available right on GitHub. I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Next up here, we're talking about Wine. If you're on Linux, you're probably going to like this update. If you're not on Linux, you probably won't care. For those that are unaware, Wine stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or it stands for Wine is not an emulator. It's an entirely up to you on how you want to interpret that. Wine is basically a compatibility layer or translation layer that allows Windows programs to work on Linux. Wine version 7.16 was just released. So in this version of Wine, they've added in WoW 64 support, session storage, and a bunch of bug fixes and minor improvements. It might be worth checking out if you are using Wine. Next up here, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. Now we don't have a new version of Skyline just yet but the testers have been taking a look at 1332 and have some very impressive results. Here is Breath of the Wild up and running. Yes, there's a bunch of textures missing. Yes, things aren't great just yet. But at the same time here, this is really, really impressive. The Walking Dead, the final season is looking a heck of a lot better. Arguably not playable just yet, but looking good. And it looks like more textures are rendering with The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Next up here, we're talking about the PS5. There's a brand new PS5 up for sale in Australia. It's a new model. It doesn't really do anything more than the old ones did, at least I don't think so but it does weigh less. So if you end up seeing a PlayStation 5 in the wild, check the back of the box. CFI 1202B is the new digital version and CFI 1202A is the new disc version. Now, interestingly enough, this new disc version and the initial launch digital edition weigh the exact same. They both weigh 3.9 kilograms. So to sum everything up, there's a weight reduction for the new versions of the PlayStation 5, as well as a price increase, technically, Technically here, you're paying more for less. Last up here, this is a fun piece of news. It appears that Retroid and AYN are basically the same company, or at least very close, like sister companies. Now to some of you, I'm sure this news is absolutely no surprise. I mean, it's been heavily speculated in the past, especially when people have opened up the Retroid Pocket and also the Ein Odin. They share components, things are very similar. Even the outward appearance on these are almost the same. I mean, the D-pad is basically the same between the two devices. So this has been taken right from Retroid's Discord. It says the Retroid Pocket 3 is the closest to an Odin Mini you can get. And zooming right in on that image of the Retroid Pocket 3, it says the AYN Odin configured in port number one. So basically it appears that Retroid is the more or less budget version of the AYN. It's kind of like Lexus to Toyota or Acura to Honda. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one straight to the point all stuff and no fluff let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below and we did talk about quite a bit if you like this video leave a like if you didn't like this video leave a like hit that subscribe button check out my other videos don't tempt fate save your state